Hey, what's up guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be unboxing this awesome new sander I got and setting it up. And we're gonna do a quick little spoiler, if you will, on the great guitar build off. I'm not gonna give away the whole thing, but we'll do a quick little one for now. And we'll have more updates coming up on that uh, before I start releasing the actual build videos. So this guy is gonna end up in my other shop. You'll, you've seen me work in like the little corner there. That's at my home. This is obviously not my home. So that's more convenient because, you know, this isn't my full-time job. Uh, so it's nice to be able to just hop into my garage and work on stuff. I'm unboxing it here though. And I'm gonna start using it here a little bit, even though there are a bunch of other belt sanders and stuff around here. Um, the reason for that is I don't have dust collection set up at my place yet. And I really need to sweep after all the, the work that I've been doing on this guitar build. There's sawdust everywhere. So yeah, we're gonna do this one here. Now, there are other great options out there for sanders, of course, and not everybody's needs are the same. But to do contours and everything, I wanted something that I could use as a spindle sander. Oscillating spindle sander to get into small shapes. I also wanted something that I could use to do angles, which this does, and it flattens out to use as a belt sander for, you know, well, right angles, flat sanding, that sort of stuff. So this seemed like a really versatile tool. I picked up the rigid model um, just locally so I could have it now without having to wait for shipping. But for anybody who's interested in something like this, there's a WEN model, W-E-N, very similar, uh, a little bit less expensive even. In the link in the description, the Amazon link, I've put it in the woodworking tools. So if you're looking for something similar to this, it's an affiliate link, helps me out if you pick it up through there. If you decide you want one of these and you use that, by all means, feel free, I appreciate it. If not, well, Let's take a look at how this works. And by the way, if you're on a really tight budget and, you, uh, and you're working on small pieces, I mean, yeah, this thing, this thing costs a few bucks for sure. Um, and I, I hope I'll get enough use out of it to make it worthwhile. But you can also, and I've got these in the description as well, you can also pick up a set of these. So this is a rubber piece that I've put, basically it comes with a bunch of these rubber pieces that go into your drill. They can also go into your router, the quarter inch. And uh, yeah, you put them into your drill, come in different sizes, and we've got different sized paper. So you can do small pieces with this. You can use your drill to kind of get into cool angles and stuff, very effective. You can also mount this into a router if you have one, or a router table, and use it very similarly to a spindle sander. It's not quite the same, jams up quicker. It's not as good an option, obviously, but it's an option, so if you're looking at uh, doing stuff like this on a, on a tighter budget and you need something small. I think I've also got these in that uh, link, this box, it doesn't come with them, but anyway, uh, and if not, I'll put them there. So take a look at that if that's more up your alley. Let's get this guy in box set up and uh, test it out. I think there will still be occasion for me to use those small ones as I do some of the more intricate carving work and shaping work. So for me, it's worthwhile to have both. I really hope there isn't a whole lot of setup involved here. I, I don't like reading instructions. Okay. Don't know what that is. Guess I'll find out. Spindle sander sandpaper. Good to have. Spindle sander attachments. It's like the big version of what I just showed you. Uh, tools and washers. All right. I'm going to have to build something. That explains it. There's the belt sander section. It's fairly small, as you can see. Uh, but it was a reasonable price, so I'm not... Well, one, I'm not surprised by the size of it. And two, that's going to fit well in my garage, which is what I need. All right. Handles on either side. Okay, I'm gonna toss this on the floor and lift the uh, lift this thing out of the box. <sighs> really feeling the COVID body these days. All right. Okay, looks pretty cool. All 
All right, right now I'd say 60% confident I can figure this out without even unwrapping the instructions. So wish me luck. Try not to overestimate it. Oh, that's cool. It's got notches to lock it into lock it into place at various angles. I like that. All right, there's my storage. So we've got the rings for that right there. These go in here. Let's get the sandpaper on those. Hopefully there's no trick to this, because if there is, I don't know what it is. Seems pretty simple. Okay, that makes sense. That one just goes straight on there. All right. I don't know what these little washers are for yet. I assume they have something to do with, with this, probably go on the top of these. And then I also assume that when you're setting that up, I don't own a spindle sander yet. Well, I do now, I guess. Uh, that this goes on top of those and there's nowhere to put this. I, I guess this just goes on here. Um, so that's, yeah, that's cool. All right, before I play around with this too much, um, I'm guessing that these are rubber feet for the bottom. So do I have anything in the back here? Cable out of the way. Oh, there are specific spots for the Allen keys in the back. That's cool. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I bet you. Yeah, that looks about right. Not my best work there. These go in here. Keep it from slipping all over the place. Let's see what kind of mess I just made. Slide this back so not everything falls off the table. Okay. Fun times. All right, so there's a perfect spot in the back here for those hex wrenches, the um, Allen keys. It looks like it is also a perfect spot for that belt. Let's see here. If you get it rotated correctly, does it lock into place? Yep. Okay. So the belt can sit in the back there. Like I said, this will go up top. Let's see if we can get the change figured out though. Looks like it's a simple matter of popping out the insert, which coincidentally also slots into the back nicely and dropping this in. Could it be that easy? Looks like it. Just left hand thread? It is, left hand thread. Okay. Well guys, I think that's it. Let's test it out.
Well guys, I guess we can go ahead and say that it works. And whew, there it is, the shaped headstock for my great guitar build off guitar. So I'm happy with that, how that came out. A little bit of fine sanding left to do, a little bit of smoothing work, but that'll all be done by hand. So that is it for the power tools. This guy got the job done. Uh, changing this out after, as easy as unscrewing that, popping it off, putting this guy back in place, and then installing these, which involves putting on the appropriate collar, tossing this on, and then, yeah, putting on the appropriate top washer and screwing this guy into place on top. It doesn't get much simpler than that, and I'm sure we'll be using that in an upcoming video too. I'm happy with this thing. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Helps me out and I appreciate it. Remember to subscribe so you can see the rest of the kit build for this guy. Very exciting stuff. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.